Hey guys, this is Gabby from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I will discuss the differences between QQQ and ONEQ. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is the performance. ONEQ has a market return of 6.36%, which is slightly lower than QQQ, which posts a return of 6.60%. Over the past decade, ONEQ has underachieved QQQ, registering an annual return of 16.2%, whereas QQQ has attained higher annualized returns of 18.10%. To date, an investment of $10,000 will yield you a return of 15.5% with ONEQ and 17.25% with QQQ. QQQ has consistently registered high returns compared to ONEQ. Diversification QQQ has about 100 holdings with the largest taking up. On the other hand, ONEQ has about 2,500 holdings in numerous sectors like healthcare, technology, and consumer discretionary as compared to QQQ, which mostly focuses on technology. Diversification of an EDF helps by reducing risks in that the more holdings an EDF has, the lesser its risk. Based on this measure, ONEQ would be preferred by investors who target low spread risk. Expense ratio. At present, the expense ratio offered by ONEQ is 0.21%, slightly higher than QQQ, which offers an expense ratio of 0.20%. Inasmuch as the difference might seem minimal in long-term and larger investments, this can accumulatively translate into a significant margin difference. Therefore, in terms of fees, QQQ offers a cheaper option to investors. But do they have any similarities? Yes, they do. Both QQQ and ONEQ are passive EDFs, implying they are not actively managed and, therefore, follow a market index. In addition to them using the same leverage, they are also quite high volume and are less likely to be affected by slippage. So to sum up which is better, QQQ or ONEQ? Eventually, the choice between QQQ and ONEQ largely depends on your risk, appetite, and investment goals. Both QQQ and ONEQ are high-performing EDFs that offer generally low cost and diversity. I choose to invest in either of the two due to their strengths and not-so-wide differences. If you want to target higher returns and lower fees, QQQ will be your preferred choice, whereas if you seek a more diverse and stable investment with lesser risk, you will be more inclined to invest in ONEQ. Please note, the information compared in this video is accurate as per the making of this video and is subject to change in future. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching!